His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to French President Emmanuel Macron, marking the victory of the French candidate Miss Audrey Ozali as Director General of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. His Majesty underlined the deep relations between the two countries and the two friendly people, as well as their development and growth. They're witnessing wishing President Macron good health and happiness and the people of the French Republic further progress and advancement. And His Majesty the King sent a similar cable to Miss Audrey Ozoli. His Majesty the King wished Miss Ozoli every success in her duties with UNESCO. His Majesty also referred to Ms. Ozali's status and expertise in this field, which will contribute to raising the level of cooperation between the countries in the fields of education and culture. He stressed the depth and history of the cooperation between Bahrain and UNESCO. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes the strategy announced by the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, in his speech today, in which he stressed that Iran is the largest state sponsoring terrorism. He also announced on how to deal with the Iranian nuclear agreement and impose sanctions on the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, stressing that the U.S. position is a confirmation of all the importance of combating terrorism and all those who support it to make the region and the world a safer and more stable place. While praising the right policy of President Donald Trump and his keen desire to prevent chaos and counter Iran's attempts to export terrorism, the Kingdom of Bahrain affirms that it is one of the countries mostly affected by the expansionist policy of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, which aims to undermine the security of the societies by disseminating and supporting extremist ideas and destructive acts of terrorism, which are unacceptable and cannot be tolerated. The Kingdom of Bahrain also reiterates its support for all the efforts aimed at preventing Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons and for all efforts aimed at combating Iran's funding and supply of weapons to extremist militias in the region, stressing the need that Iran must respect the sovereignty of its neighbors and to adhere to the international laws and norms. The United Nations has adopted Bahrain's pioneering experience in reforming the labor market namely the Flexible Work Permit Project as one of the best international practices as part of the International Migration Conference to form a new international era for immigrants and expatriates to be adopted in 2018. The UN Building in Geneva hosted a special symposium organized by the Permanent Commission and the Mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the European Union headquarters in which Bahrain's experience was reviewed in finding alternatives to traditional labor market management systems. The Chief Executive Officer of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Osama al absi delivered a presentation on the government of Bahrain at the UN conference, which is part of a series of international meetings on topics related to international migration held in Geneva. al absi touched on the solutions adopted and developed by the Kingdom of Bahrain to regulate the labor market, referring to the flexible system that was recently implemented and is unique in the region which allows expatriate workers a direct relationship with the market without the need for a sponsor. The conference expressed concerns on the views of civil society organizations and it also allows government representatives to submit their opinions within its framework. The Qatari president of one of Europe's most glamorous soccer clubs, Paris Saint-Germain, is under investigation by Swiss prosecutors for suspected bribery of a top FIFA executive to get World Cup broadcasting rights. Criminal proceedings against PSG president and CEO of Qatar-owned Bain Media Group, Nasser al khlefi and former FIFA Secretary General Jérôme Valky, as well as unnamed businessmen in the sports rights sector, was announced by the Office of Switzerland's Attorney General. The case involves the award of broadcast rights for the next four World Cups from 2018 up till 2030. The proceedings against Al Khlefi is one of the first direct links to Qatar. In sweeping investigations by federal law enforcement authorities in Switzerland, the United States and France of FIFA International Soccer and the 2018 to 2022 World Cup bidding contests.